So guys, two days ago I saw on the news that human body parts were found on Long Island by some school children. A horrific news story. And when I hear about human body parts found on Long Island, I immediately think of Gilgo Beach, where 11 murder victims were found in 2010 and 2011. So, of course I told myself, stop obsessing over Gilgo Beach and the alleged serial killer Rex Hurman. Not every single body found on Long Island is going to be at Gilgo Beach. Long Island is actually a huge place. If Long Island were a state, it would actually be the 13th biggest state in the entire country and it would have the highest population density. So it just goes to show you how massive Long Island is and New York is. It has lots of woods, lots of water, lots of places where body parts could have been discovered. So I need to stop obsessing over Rex Shurman and Gilgo Beach, right? Even though he's been charged with four murders, even though a woman implicates him in a fifth murder, even though nine women have alleged that Rex Shurman attacked them or tried to attack them. On top of that, there's a woman in South Carolina who alleges her mother was last seen alive with Rex Shurman and despite the fact that Rex Shurman looks very similar to multiple composite sketches in the Route 29 Stalker series of murders in Virginia where he says he drove for decades, a woman alleges he tried attacking her in Virginia one year after the Route 29 Stalker murders began. Even with all that, I still said to myself, well, this doesn't have to be related to him. Long Island is a huge place. All of Long Island has 13 towns, two cities, 97 villages, and 173 hamlets. So these body parts could have been discovered anywhere on Long Island, right? Well, guess where this week's body parts were discovered, guys? Well, they were found in a town called Babylon. Where is Babylon, Long Island? Well, that's the same town that Gilgo Beach is located in. These body parts are found in the same town as Gilgo Beach. A disturbing discovery in Babylon where students discovered human remains in a wooded area. Fox A's Jody Goldberg talked to parents who are understandably worried about body parts being found near a school. Suffolk police moved from one grisly discovery to another today. Human body parts had been left in multiple spots here in Babylon Village. Horrifying. Really, really scary. Jennifer Calvi had come to walk her dog when she stumbled on police tape and squad cars. Police had been called after a group of high school kids walking to school found a human arm, a left arm. It had been dumped in bushes along the edge of Babylon Village's Southards Pond Park. Uh, one of the students called their father. The father responded to the scene, confirmed that it was in fact an arm on the side of the road, and he called 911. A short time later, a police dog searching another part of the large park found a human leg hidden under leaves. It was about a mile from where the arm was found and just steps from Babylon Elementary School. I saw the police and I said, oh my God, something happened. Nanny Jane Ledbetter had come here to pick up a seven-year-old and called the situation crazy. Police say it appears the body parts had been dumped only recently. Investigators are examining all possibilities as to what happened, but aren't saying if the body parts are from the same person. I've got three kids in the school district, so it's, uh, you know, something that you, you definitely brings up levels of concern. It's stuff you see in movies, you know? I can't imagine that, especially when you, you live right here. I'm shook right now. These findings are disturbing to families we spoke with during dismissal, as this elementary school is just steps away from the crime scene. Things are hitting too close to home out on Long Island, I guess. It's sad. More human remains found, and investigators believe that they belong to not one, but two adults. The body parts were first discovered yesterday in a popular park near an elementary school in Babylon. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has the latest on the investigation.
Babylon Village is some 30 miles east of Manhattan on Suffolk County's South Shore. Residents in this bucolic community are on edge as police update gruesome discoveries. Human body parts belonging to at least two unidentified victims have been dumped in Southern Pond Park, a male and female. We discovered a female head, a leg, and what appears to be a female arm. That was on the western side, adjacent to Babylon Elementary, where outdoor recess was canceled. Earlier, on the other park perimeter... On the east side of the park, we found a right arm and a left arm. They appear to be male. The arms had tattoos, and that's what I'll say. Um, and we're, we're searching databases for those tattoos. The hands were minus fingertips. I have grandchildren that play, and they like to go down to the woods and walk, and I don't even want to go down there anymore. More. I grew up here 62 years. We're back now with an update on breaking news. We've been following in Babylon and Suffolk County, and officials have discovered both male and female body parts in a wooded area. And we're learning new details that officials have found a female head this morning, among other body parts. I know it's gruesome, but this is what we're hearing out of Suffolk County. We don't know exactly how these parts may be connected to the other parts that were discovered yesterday. So this, of course, doesn't prove Rex Sherman was involved with these two murders that we just discovered. So for those of you who don't know, police found four murdered victims at Gilgo Beach in 2010, and then another seven murdered victims at Gilgo Beach in 2011. So that began the Gilgo Beach serial killer investigation that took 13 years to have an arrest made. And that was when police arrested Rex Herman in the summer of 2023. And they've since charged him with the first four victims found murdered at Gilgo Beach. Maureen Brainerd Barnes, Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, and Amber Costello. So for 13 years, I had always theorized that whoever the Gilgo Beach serial killer was, he likely killed other places. Given the savagery he's capable of, serial killers typically start when they're in their 20s or early 30s. So the fact that Rex Sherman would have been in his 40s in 2007 when Maureen Brainerd Barnes was killed leads me to believe that he likely killed before and after because most serial killers don't start in their 40s then stop all on their own three years later. So once Herman was arrested, we also learned that at least nine women alleged that he attacked them or tried to attack them. I heard about dismembered body parts on Long Island. I immediately thought of Gilgo Beach and Rex Yorman. And oh, what do you know of all the places on Long Island these bodies could have been found? They just so happened to be found in the same exact tiny town as Gilgo Beach. The very first four adult victims at Gilgo Beach were all dismembered and had their remains spread at different locations. Karen Vergata, 1996. A witness claims that she last saw Karen alive, running naked and in fear from Rex Yorman at his house. And oh, what do you know, her dismembered remains just happened to end up right next to the Gilgo Four, who Rex Yorman is charged with murdering. So we have Karen Vergata, killed in 1996, her dismembered body parts left at Gilgo Beach and also at nearby Fire Island. Peaches, 1997, she was murdered along with her two-year-old baby who was not dismembered, but Peaches was dismembered. Her remains left at Gilgo Beach and also at Hempstead State Lake Park. Valerie Mack, murdered in 2000, dismembered. Her remains left at Gilgo Beach and also left in the woods in Manorville. And then Jessica Taylor, killed in 2003, left at Gilgo Beach and also left in the woods in Manorville near Valerie Mack. So I think it's clear that whoever killed Valerie Mack also killed Jessica Taylor. And given the location of the other bodies, I think you have to at least look to Gilgo Beach for similarities when you talk about dismembered people murdered and spread in different locations in Babylon where Gilgo Beach is located. So the obvious question that arises is, are this week's murder victims found dismembered by school children near Gilgo Beach? Are they another set of victims in this series who were killed 
dismembered and spread in different locations. All police are saying so far is that they feel these bodies were killed, quote, recently. But we don't know if that means before or after July of 2023, when Gilgo Beach serial killer suspect Rex Hurman was arrested. So I'll keep an eye on this story, guys. It definitely got my attention. But I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Do you think it could be related to the Gilgo Beach murders or no? Do you guys know any more about this story than I've mentioned in the video? Please leave it in the comments. Just wanted to do a quick video today. I wanted to respond to this potentially bombshell news story, talk about it with the true crime community and those of you who follow the Gilgo Beach serial killer investigation. As always, my heart and support go out to the victims and their families. And as always, thanks to everyone who supports my YouTube channel. Your support has been amazing. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love hearing your feedback. I would love knowing from you if you think this is related to Gilgo or not. I would love hearing your thoughts on the Gilgo case. Do you think Hurman only killed the four victims that he's charged with? And of course he's presumed innocent until proven guilty, but I'm curious, do you guys think he did commit the four murders he's charged with? Do you think those are the only murders he committed? Do you think he committed the fifth murder of Karen Vergata that a witness implicates him in? And do you think he's responsible for the other six victims at Gilgo Beach? All 11 victims. Maybe this week's news story isn't related at all. Maybe it is. We'll find out. I'll keep an eye on the story. I'd love to hear your feedback. Hope everyone's doing well. Talk with you soon.